Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be painting this stunning photograph from Nicola Elliott. Um, it is County Fermat. Did I say that right? In Northern Ireland, which I actually had to look and see. I've been to Ireland. I haven't been to Northern Ireland. And it is in the southwest of Northern Ireland. County Fermat. Fermat. I want to say Fermat, but that's not right. I think it's County Fermat is the proper pronunciation. Perhaps I'm terribly wrong and I apologize. Um, I've also got a printout. And today I'm going to be working on the Sennelier Le Carte paper. I wanted something literally that wasn't going to take too much detail. Something I could just whack in. I just feel like making pastel marks um, on the paper. I don't want to go into loads of detail um, because the last piece I finished um, was quite intense. There was a lot of details and uh, I was like, no, I'm sure this comes a little bit lower. Just like so. So, hence me choosing Le Carte. When I choose this paper from Sennelier, um, it's because I'm wanting something to just get my pastel strokes in. I'm not wanting to go into a lot of detail. Um, and this paper um, just, I don't know, it helps me kind of achieve that goal of not too much detail of, of painting in more of a looser style so we shall see we shall see i'm hoping i'm just want to play with pastel and i'm hoping that i can just get something really really loose okay so they're just an initial sketch out let's get some blue violets in the sky you're probably going to go, oh my gosh, look at that color. Woof. But let's hope I can tone that down. I'm wanting to only use Sennelier in this piece. Um, what's my reasoning? My reasoning is, I don't really have a reason. <laughs> I just I just fancy using Sennelier. Um, I wanted to see if I can achieve everything that I went to in this little painting with the Sennelier's that I have. You know, I think it's quite fun. It also helps me get to know my pastels more, um, which I enjoy. Like I've mentioned several times, um, I've worked a lot in unison, so I'm very familiar with those. Um, this is 391. So I'm using just a mixture of the blue violets in the Sennelier range. My thinking with this piece also is I'm wanting to get, um, I'm gonna go with greens as well as purples. That's why I'm choosing the blue violets is I'm wanting the green and the purple I don't know what it is I think it's the last three pieces I've done they are definitely leaning into the playing with the greens and the violets and I'm just really enjoying that at the moment so that's what I'm doing let's how, see how this is looking now obviously I'm going to come in with some lighter colors I think let's just preserve that white um because I want to keep that stunning glow from the sun and I'm just having a little look I might just preserve that for just a second, that is a Sennelier. Try to get it straight, Candice. Okay, there we go. 
and around that I may just put in a bit more of this yellowy and I know it's looking you're probably thinking oh mackerel mackerel and cheese what's going on here but let's just see let's just see I don't want to make a green don't want green in the sky okay I'm gonna use some more so this is 336 in LEA. So think about the periwinkly blue violet colors. That's that's what I'm wanting to use in the sky. Oh. Sorry, it's quite a thing to get that one out. Now I'm quite as I said, I'm I'm working kind of quickly. I don't know what it is, but my brain says not too much detail, not too much detail, therefore leg it <laughs> work super quickly which isn't i don't know necessarily i'm just putting pastel to the paper and i'm just gonna run and i'm just gonna see how this feels oh my kids have come upstairs so if there's lots of background noise, banging and stuff, then uh, you know why, huh? Okay, these clouds are looking weird. Do you know what I mean? They're all like facing sort of this way here, which I don't really want. I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow, dot that over there. So as I said, I usually work in pastel mat and I um, put in a lot of detail. But it's fun to play with other papers and play around and see what I can get. Okay, so that was Sennelier 527. It looks white, but it's not. It's actually got a tiny hint of yellow. I actually think this, yeah, this is where I am lacking, is I am needing more yellow. So I'm going to actually go at this Mount Vision and I'm just going to put that in there a bit like that. And now let's get some more purple greys. And this is great. This is like, oh, I can see everything I'm missing in Sennelier and everything I need to purchase. All my greys for Sennelier are very much blue grey don't have many purple greys so I may so I'm just can you see these lines in here now clouds sometimes I think they're called stratus aren't they they've got those lines but mm, I don't want to paint that got to get it more okay I think they're going gardening with my hubby now sun's shining here in the UK so you know got to get out while that is happening yeah it's coming together I'm liking it I just want to get some more purple some purpley greys in here and I've just quickly whipped out um, this is the new art spectrum that I got yesterday and this is called Warm Grey In. Did I say Warm Grey In? Yeah, Warm Grey In, whatever the N stands for, no idea. Just a little bit of that in there. I'm still looking for more mauve colors. So bear 
with me. This is a little bit of Jackson's. Now it doesn't have enough um, purple. I know. Let's go with some. Blue Earth. Just a little bit. And I want to come in so that number I can actually still see. That was, oh no, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> I just can't see what that was. Apologies. Right, let's go into something. Definitely don't want pink. It's definitely got to still stay on the purple side. But I'm looking for a value lighter than what I've just put down. Okay. I am liking how that um, is looking. Need to do something a bit where this light, where there's a crossover here. So now I'm actually not just using Sennelier. I am going in with also my Blue Earth Pastels. That's quite yellowy. Let's get a bit more white in there. I think this is literally a Sennelier white, but that's okay. I'm wanting a bit of that here and there. Sort of scumbling it along. I only think of the cloud shapes. I think let's put a bit of that here. some greys but I want to maybe go back in with this maybe just a bit of that there and here okay wonder if I can still find some more purpley purple I mean this is pretty purple but it's slightly darker, which is what I'm wanting. Hmm. Oh, do you see how it's like, whoop, it's made a line, which looks kind of weird. I'm scuffling this along very light touch like i'm hardly touching the paper and let's go back in with some of this white you can see how kind of been doing my own thing here I haven't been following the reference photo very much at all okay so that's kind of getting the impression that there it was a storm and now that is poofed back in the distance which is great that's what I want 
right, now we need to get this, which this little back part here. Again, this, yes, I know is very blue, but if you bear with me, I'm going to tone it down. Okay. Shall we put in some of the stock? I'm going to, um, in the darkest parts, I'm actually wanting to use violets so up in here. This is a Terry Ludwig. Yes, okay, so I haven't used all Sennelier. Um, I don't, yeah. See, with pastel, I don't know, you need a lot more colors. Like, I, I can't just get by only with the Sennelier's I have. Just can't do it. I need my other pastels too. Um, you're probably wondering why on earth am I putting this burgundy colour down? Um, because this is going to be mostly green, right? And I think green and reds work really well together, especially these greens have a lot of yellow in them. So if you look at the color wheel, I'll just pull it out now so I can explain a bit of my thinking. There is a lot of yellow greens, okay, in here. So here we've got yellow green and opposite that is red violet. So the complementary colors. So they're going to offset against each other. I could have just gone in with, um, you know, brown and then green, but because this is going to be quite a loose painting, we've got to have some interest, don't we? So why don't we zhuzh it up with the color? That That is my thinking. If I'm not going in with all guns blazing details, then I've got to have something interesting. So hence me deciding to use um, green. Uh, burgundy colors so I'm just kind of shuffling over all the darks like I said that's a Terry Ludwig from the intense twos range and I'm just the the pastel I'm still kind of I've worked on this quite a bit but you know I don't know this paper as well as pastel mat um, it does feel like the pastel sits on top like I can I don't know if that's the pastel or just the grain. So there's going to be some light hitting here. And this is going to, looks a bit more like sky. I'm just trying to think, what about if we put in more of like a, Going, I want all the paper to be covered here. I don't want some of the dark to be showing through here. Because, I mean, this is... Gosh, this, this is a very crumbly pastel I've got here. It's literally just crumbling right off. Mm, that's okay. So that colour think is the white but because I've got the yellow underneath it's it's got quite a yellowness to it which is great which is what I'm wanting just wanting to get rid of I suppose that looks a little bit like ferns because of the texture of the paper I can't actually get it that smooth and I definitely because it's Terry Ludwig I don't want to bring that Terry Ludwig into there do I we know what happens then after the last one. The geraniums, that was my constant battle. Oh my gosh, these Terry Ludwigs. But can you see, I'm not happy with this. So let's 
just get a little bit. Mm. Mm, the shape. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here and take away the shape because you can't actually see it. Then I may or may not put the rays of sun in. I'll see how I feel about that. Okay. Okay, let's carry on building up in here. Oh, also, I don't have a lot of purples. Here's a Mount Vision purple. And it's lighter than the one we've just put down. So I'm just adding, and can you see these are, I would say, red violets um, rather than purple. So they've got a lot of red content in them, which will work nicely with the green because green and red are complementary colors. Okay, this is all middle values. I'm liking that. Okay, I think before I carry on working, let's get some of this waterfall in. But actually, before I do that, it's quite dark up in here. So let's just do that. And then... Now this is more a violet. It's got more purple in it. Just for where I can see. These super darks up in here. So note my strokes are going down. Because I'm thinking, okay, the water is gushing downwards. So let's get, and then it's rippling over here. So let's get some of that in. Another reason I wanted to do something looser is, um, you know, just something quick that you could enjoy painting along with that isn't too time consuming you know a lot of the work i put out there takes hours um so i just wanted to give you something you know a little bit quicker that you'd be happy and proud of too whoops bash 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 okay now let's carry on building up this water i'm going to use some of the sennelier gray that i used in the background again i mean just trailing this i can see quite a lot of it over here there's a lot of movement in this water so i'm trying to mimic that actually we're gonna have to go darker over there i can see we even gonna have to go darker in here so sorry i'm trying to mimic that and again you've got a few gushing over here but these strokes are too long because if you look at the reference um, you can see the shorter marks okay now so we definitely need to get that dark in need some more up in there i just wanted to share with you that before i started on this i did a quick little study very quickly this is this horrible ingress paper i can't stand it um and i think it's really good just to get a quick study down i mentioned i'm not sure if you watched my time lapse of uh, my wild geraniums but i mentioned how i want to put a little bit more thought in my paintings my personality is I just get stuck in and I found
found I was making a lot of mistakes on my last painting simply because I hadn't thought through how I'm going to do things. So it's simply, I thought, oh, a good way to do that is do a little thumbnail, do a little sketch. Okay, that's bigger than a thumbnail. But do a quick sketch. It literally took me four minutes just to map out where the darkest darks will be. There I used my green. It wasn't about the colors at all. And through doing that, that's when I decided, oh, I've got a good idea. Why don't I do this mainly like purple with the greens? Anyway, so that's just a bit of side info. 478. This is a beautiful dark gray from Sennelier, but it has got purple in it. And it just makes my heart melt. I love this color. It's beautiful. Okay. And I can see a little bit of it there. Oops, don't want that over there. I might come in. And then again, just little bobbly bits. It's just a bit of the water is gathering. And again, let's get some. I mean, it's really dark in here. Again, this is a photograph. So if I was actually standing here, and I can see, if I was actually standing here, um, painting this, you know, plain air, you would probably wouldn't be, these darks would not be as dark as they, they're coming out in the picture. There we go, there's just to get, sorry, I think we need a little bit more there. And we need just, I'm using the side of my pastel just to get some, definitely want the movement. Then here it kind of twirls around. There's actually two little dongas over there. All right. Love that color. Such a good color to have in your collection, I would say. Where am I going to go? Let's go with the gray again. Because now it is lighter. And what we've just put underneath. And I'm going to want to get the sense that this water is cascading down in here. And then again, let's get a bit of the blue of the sky. And there's this just a few this moving water. Okay. Oh my doodah went off. That's not helpful. Don't do that to me now, doodah. There we go. Back on back on mm. again let's go in with the darks i feel like i've lost them a little bit here and there so these are the rocks underneath Up here is pretty dark. Okay, and I think that may be dark enough. Once we work all the colors in, this is very much in the shadow. Just scumbling this blue. 
Mm, shouldn't be there. But I can see like a heightened blue over there. Actually becomes more yellowy down here. Okay. Right. Let's see what else we have got. 479. So this is the same grey we've just put down here, but it's a bit lighter. Just putting a bit of that here and there. And this water is so... It's easy to create still water because you can put in reflections and it looks like water where this is just trickier. But let's hope I can pull it off and not take a thousand years, basically. Which is what I said in the beginning. I wanted something quicker and something very relaxing. This is relaxing. I'm feeling very relaxed doing this. Now, I just want to see. Okay, on the top there, I think we need to get more of the behind in. So I'm going to go in with Sennelier 173. One, what is it? 179. Whoa, look at that. That is so bright, isn't it? Okay, you're probably not seeing it as bright as me, but I'm just putting in some of the dark greens now over. Now, there's no way that is dark enough. Just a bit of it here and there. Up on the banks here. And this one is really green, but it's just, we've got to get out some good old Terry, because I think this needs to be a bit darker here and there. Let's go darker here, all along the bank like that. And then let's go dark in here too, because that kind of recedes in there. That's better. Isn't it? Bit of this here and there. And I can actually put a little bit of this here too. So this is probably the darkest violet in the Ludwig darks range okay I'm just having a moment assessing what's what and who's who in the zoo and where am I going to next I'll tell you what this line is really bothering me um, it just looks wrong so how can I fix it I mean, that is, should be dark. I think I'm going to come here with this and just scuffle that along. Just like so. I think it was the shape. I was like, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, it looks... Uh, little bit better I think she says maybe not it's the shape I didn't like okay let's go in and do the same here and just a little bit here and there and then Especially along the rim, or the water's edge, not the rim. 
the water's edge, sorry. And yeah, I'm definitely in there. Flash is really dark. Okay. I don't know what's better. Does the light blow it out? Which is better? That, can you see more? I don't know. Let's just put the light on in case. <coughs> okay, now that we've got the darks in, let's build up these mid-tones. Going back in with my Mount Vision. going to be this is going to be the brightest part of the painting this and this and they've got a little hill there but I'm just still going to make these even brighter I want these to really pop over here oh dear never mind that just fell and a little bit So there, I think I may just put a little bit of that in there, like so. Now that we've got that beautiful pinky red violet color, let's go in with the greens. I am using my Sennelier greens, and let's start to build these up okay so <laughs> i've got lots of crumbs here little pieces so i'm not sure about the color codes um, for these greens that i'm using here but can you see i'm kind of just scuffling the paper in the paper the pastel into the paper i think i need a little bit more dark green in there oh it's i i google pronounced how to say this and it seems like it's fermina is how you said county fermina if you are irish please let me know um, if i'm doing that a terrible injustice okay so in here is also so this is a green with a lot of yellow content in which is exactly what I am after. It's looking kind of strange over there, but I want to go in with a darker green. So here we go. Here's a darker green. So in that green, there's a little bit more blue content. I don't know if you can see that.
I'm just scuffling um, I very lightly. I am not pressing hard on the paper at all. It is with a extremely light touch. I'm gonna get more like orangey over there. I'll come back to that. Also note how I am not, um, I'm moving all over the page I'm with my color rather than finishing one area. I'm also going to put some beautiful glowing orange down in here. Also that oranges will work beautifully with the purple that we have underneath. Okay, and I'm going to just, like over here, there's some here and there. There's actually a smidgen of that over there. So for that, let's use this beautiful... This is um, Sennelier. I can actually hopefully tell you the number of this one. It's uh, bronze green light. Oh, it's 161 is the code, the number. I may even come even a bit lighter in there. We'll see. And over there. And a bit down here. Then we're really going to hit. I want some really beautiful bright greens. I'm thinking about even getting the Diane Townsends out. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, let's get some more greens. Mm. Keep moving back. As I play, so looking at this, this is actually mm, I'm missing some dark. Shall we put a bit of this in here? Just like a bit over there and a bit over there. This is that Sennelier colour that I love so much. The greyish purple colour. Okay. Yeah, we need some more greens now. Just rummaging through my green pile and seeing. Uh, this is 752. It's also got a high yellow content in here. Just, oh dear, I think that is the colour that I've been using all along. Indeed, indeed it is. It's just the other greens I've got are wrong, meaning they just, they're not what I'm after. So, oh, but this one is, this is 211. No, let's put that one a 
but in here and there. Um, I'm actually going to come in. Let's put a bit of this. So this is um, 157. It's a nice dark green. I'm sort of just scuffling it here and there. So we've got some green down because this is obviously cliffs with grass growing maybe okay i like how some of the purple is poking through and i want to keep it that way i think it just adds interest as i said we we're gonna be very exciting with the color here now i wonder maybe sorry i was just having a play i think actually okay so this one's even darker but let's just do that over there and a bit of this over here Maybe. Okay, I should really get the water in before I do that. Oh, I suddenly had the thought like, oh my gosh, am I recording? I am recording. Okay, cascading down now. So the light is hitting there and then this is more in shadow. So... The color of gotcha is actually a, a Rembrandt. And a little bit of this here and sort of cascading over here. It's a Rembrandt, so it's a hard, harder pastel. I just fancy that color. So this very top, the sun is, is still hitting there. So I'm, I'm wanting to come in with a light yellow. But I just, I'm thinking maybe the yellows we used there are a little bit too light. Hmm. Maybe, you know, we can go in with this 273. Mm. Don't worry, I'm going to go. I'm going to go over that with um this little guy that we've been using, Sennelier 604. So, I want some of that color in here. So, I'm scumbling it along very gently. I'm just seeing okay, you know what? I might be coming with something light. I'm just squinting my eyes. Let's go and get this in here. There's also kind of just at the 
tops I can see. Hmm. Something with a little bit more colour than the sommelier I've got. Oh, I can't see. This is where I need a scrap piece of paper. That would be helpful. Let's just take this. Forgive me while I can't even see the colour of that one. So I'm going to just go in with this 446. Now in the actual reference photo, it's got more of a blue tinge. But seeing as we've kind of gone the violet route, I am going to do this because it's got a red violet to it so um yeah okay let's also scumble that in there and over here okay then it kind of just deciding how blue do I go, <laughs> you know, I mean, these are blue violets again, so they've got purple in them. Let's see a bit of that there. Going for something a bit lighter again. This has got it's a blue violet, but it's it's lighter. Keep the darker colours. Um, this is a bit darker. So keep the oh that is not making marks I'm happy with. I feel like we have, this is kind of moving this way, I feel like I've lost a little bit of this dark in here. So let's go in. Kind of woozles its array around there. No, woozle isn't a real word in South African English. No, it's not. It's just my way of trying to describe. And again, definitely. Just feel I've lost a little bit of the darks. So, this is not something I'd recommend, but I'm just seeing if I can get these darks back in there. Okay. I feel like I'm fiddling too much now and I'm going to cock the whole thing up, which is exactly not what I want to be doing. 
So I'm speaking to myself and saying, move away. Just move away from the painting, from putting in those darks. There we go. It's a bit of an odd shape going on here, so just do that, and then this needs to be okay. And they take this lighter blue again. That is just cascading down there and a bit there. Great, so that looks like it's all in shadow, which it is. So, but I just want to put a bit more yellow so that the sun is just hitting certain parts. I'm just making sure I got the right goods here. go lovely great okay now I'm happy with that it feels like there's a lot of movement going on there what I want to do is just bring this out actually a little bit more at the bottom here like so did it a bit too much over there so I'll go back in with my darkest dark and just come back in like that I'm going to break this. Wait, that's too light. It was this little guy here. Okay. I just went wrong there a bit, can you? but that looks better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. We've lost a little bit of the dark here and a little bit in here. So I'm just putting it back in. Okay. Righty ho. And I want to because this color is just so awesome. I can see that there is a ledge over there. Right. Okay, Minoki. Okay, so the color is kind of washing out. On screen there's more of a vibrance in real life um, I'm gonna come and put in I'm gonna use the screen this is Sennelier 202 and I'm going to scumble just a bit of this here and there where the light is catching the top of the grass blades it's quite a bit over there. I'm definitely going to go bright over here. 
this little patch on the side of the bank. Not too much over there. So I'm scumbling. What does that mean? I'm virtually just shuffling my pencil, pe pastel along the paper and I am using a very light touch, hardly any anything really. All right, shall we take this nice bright sennelier green and oh, and pop a bit of that, I think need to get a green with more yellow in it. I need a light green with more yellow content. Like that one. This is Sennelier 2A232. Um, two, two. Yes, that's better. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now it would be very tempting to add a bit of this here and there. Um, I might just see literally a smidgen, like literally a smidgen. Smidgen isn't a real word. I am aware of that, but I'm trying to say a tiny bit, I guess. And I'm wondering... Just a little bit of this in here because there's see some water. I'm, I'm quiet because I'm having a look at my work. I'm wanting to see if there's anything I want to add in, and I do. I think I want a little bit more of this. Sort of deep olivey green here. Okay. And I think I'm going to bring some of that down in here into the dark. And also over here. Then let's get a nice dark green, maybe mid-tone. Mm. It's fine for a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's not overwork the piece. Okay, I want to just come in with a little bit of this light lemon yellow and just zhuzhi a bit of that here because that is dung where I want the eye to go is for me, yeah, that's the first place. Okay, now the question is, do we do these rays? making me nervous. I will not lie, it's making me feel nervous. It might be a good idea to actually just practice a few strokes on a separate piece of paper. So, this is a good little tip right here. Uh, we can put this so you can see, I guess, over there. So, underneath that, we've got the darks. Mm, okay, this is this horrible ingress paper, but let's pull it over. So there's a lot of dark 
And then we've got our lovely sun, which is kind of peeking over through. I think. Don't want to use my Terry Ludwig's, no. But I'm just wanting to see what is going to be my oh, my. Okay, I think. Here's this, and so. See how. That's what I'm worried about. That. It doesn't do much, and then it transfers some of this dark pigment into the sun, which I really don't want. But look, that's hardly doing it. Um, you know, you don't want purple rays. Now, this is rubbish paper. So I'm thinking that might not have been a good idea anyway. But let's just give it a tiny... Making sure this is very clean now. Um, the... Okay, there's literally making, you know, because you definitely don't want to dirty up these rays. So make sure your pastel is clean. Oh. Mm. You know what? I've already gone and put some dark where I really don't want dark. So I'm going to have to say... But the rays are kind of, they kind of, the picture, I shouldn't, let's try one here. Oh, look at that. I am keep cleaning off, but there's one little spot I forgot to clean off. Like I say, it's not, it's, it's, it's the Terry Ludwigs that are bothering me under it. If it was unison or, you know, I'd happily do this over, but it's the Terry Ludwigs. So, okay, clean off, clean off. Hmm. I mean, this this is going to come right over. I guess the good thing about the Terry Ludwig is at least it will go over that. But I'm not wanting to dirty up the sun. See, that's the big thing. Okay, let's see. What I would get is a tool rather than my fingers. Sometimes these tools, though, they just rub the pastel off rather than smudge it and I'm just needing something to smudge shall we see if this is gonna rub off or if this is going to smudge now takes see it takes the pigment away I know let's get a cotton bud okay this shape is weird no. 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 Don't like that at all. I'm just assessing, I'm just having a look and seeing it's got quite a golden glow to it. Um, Ugh.
got to try and remember to clean off the pastel and try and get a sharp edge at the end because this one's too square it looks funny ah oh, what did i do that's terrible Funny. Well, now that's looks silly. I'm trying to see what greens I used. This was yesterday, by the way. So, okay. Go back to this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to admit defeat and just not put it in. Okay, I think I'm going to take one of my paper stumps and I'm just cleaning it. I'm going to see how this, like I said, because this paper... It can have a tendency to just lift the pigment rather than smearing it. Just kind of going in between. Looks terrible, like a spidery. Nah, you know what? I'm just going to mess up the image. So forget that. <coughs> Let's not put in the sun rays. The sun has dipped even lower so you wouldn't see the rays that that's what's that's what's gonna happen there but we'll put a bit of that in so there's a little bit of something a little bit of something something like a haziness so I quite like the look of that i'm gonna take a little bit of this purple actually and i'm gonna put some of that in here kind of like as it gets like a haziness because of the sun all right i'm not liking the shapes that are going on down here but I've got to keep telling myself, this is not, you're not fiddling and faffing with detail. Okay, that's what I'm telling myself. I think I just need a little bit more of a darker green just to break up, you know. That, I think I scumbled a bit too much over there. I got a little bit too excited. little bit more of this in. Okay. Right. The key is not to faff around. This is what I'm telling myself. I think I need just a little bit more green in here. A little bit of variation. Otherwise, it all looks like you've got the same same color in so in typical candles candle style i'm looking at this and i'm like nah this looks weird don't like it i do not like it so let's scumble in it's the shape which looks odd here so it's like too slanty or something it's not I need to add a little bit more See, this is too slanty and it's just looking silly. We 
you don't want that. I think we should add some little tufts of grass over there. I'm just looking for my 179. Whoops. I think we need some strokes that are going upwards. I think I've kept all the strokes flowing down this way. So it's causing a strange thing to go on. So I don't want that. At the same time, I'm like, just stop when it's time to stop. I'm telling myself that at the same time too. And not to faff around because as I mentioned you could actually cause more damage in your work which is not what you want what do I mean by damage sorry cause it to look better before you started faffing around with it and we I'm trying to make it better, but something about the lines in there were really bothersome to me. And I wanted to fix it. Okay, now. I think that looks I think that looks better. Okay. Still assessing. Assessing is not a bad thing. Just needing to break up some of these colors I think yeah there we go better